Alrighty, hello guys, welcome your faces back to another video on my channel. I know it is back-to-back -back Steam Train stuff today, but uh, honestly, I'm having so much fun with this new Steam update. Uh, or with the new trains update, with the new wheels. I really, really rate it. I think it's really cool. Anyway, in the previous video, we ended up building this entire thing. I think we did a pretty good job uh, at building this. Uh, that video hasn't actually gone out yet, so I haven't seen what you guys have said about it. But honestly, hopefully you guys have good things to say. Anyway, what I wanted to do today was actually get this thing working a little bit better, adding some paint to this thing, making it look a little bit better as well, and uh, going from there. So let's go ahead and get on with it, shall we? All right, so one of the first things that I want to do is actually paint this bumper bar the colors that we want it to be. So it's actually just going to be this color. Because uh, honestly, I think it should be, so there you go. We're just going to do that all the way around there, uh, and I think that'll be fine. With that being said, I also want to delete these two, uh, make them white. There we go, excellent. And we're going to put that there, and put that there. Excellent, yes. With that being said, we're actually going to go ahead and change the whole white color to be grey. I know that doesn't make much sense. Uh, well, I, not much sense. Um, I know that might not look as good as what, what I would hope, but I think it looks okay. With that being said, though, we actually need a little bit of actual color on this as well, so we need to do that too. One of the ways that we can actually do that is by deleting things uh, around here. So let's say... Oh, I don't actually know where to do this, but we are going to delete this, this, and this. But we're going to do it on both sides, actually. So let's go and delete that, that, and that. Get ourselves some weight blocks. This will look like rivets, so uh, I kind of like the idea of just adding some of those in random places. Uh, I think it will be very, very awesome. We're going to do that all the way down there too. Um, oh, it has deleted something on this side. That's really annoying. So we'll delete that. We'll put this in and we'll continue it down. There you go. And we'll do this. Yep, on this side, we then need to delete this guy. Put one of these in and there we go. So actually delete this on this side, put that back in. Delete that on this side and put that back in. What does it look like with the little bit of a gap in there? Does it look weird? I think that looks okay. Yeah, I think that's alright. We're then going to add some more in random places too. So across the front, we're going to have to do here, here, and here. And we're going to do weight blocks on all of those too. Except this bit. There we go. Alright, nice. That is that's a, a little bit of detail uh, that is quite nice to add. Yeah, definitely. Alright, so what colour actually goes with black? I would say we can actually add some sort of cream or gold. Uh, with the gold being selected, what colour gold do we want? Something quite, like, tame. There we go. Something like this. It's not quite gold, but it's, um... It's not yellow, and it's also not cream, so I think that's pretty cool. Anyway, we're gonna add that around the, the front like this. We're gonna do two of those, and that looks pretty good. Yep. We're also gonna actually add that around the rims of the wheels. There you go. All the way across the top, just like so. And do this all the way down. There we go. That's pretty nice, to be honest. There you go. So that's going to go all the way across there, all the way to here, and that is fine. I might also do it here as well, um, just to give it a little bit of a boost. Although, maybe not, actually. Let's get rid of all that. There we go. Spawn that in, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, to be honest, pretty cool. I like it. I might actually attach these guys to it instead, so uh, when I say instead, I mean just like that. There we go. So that's attached on both sides. Both sides are exactly the same, pretty much, uh, in terms of the way they look, so I'm happy with that. With that being said, we now need to add some pumps in order to make this thing a little bit more efficient. Uh, I don't know where they should go, so this is going to be a bit of a struggle for me. But we are going to try it anyway. So, uh, the pump should be... Oh, lordy. Oh, lordy. Uh, I think we should actually add a pump in here. So what we'll do is we'll delete this and these guys. We need to add a pump coming out of this. So, pump. Oh, how do we go about doing this? How do we go about doing this? I'm going to add a pump up here, like this. What that will allow us to do is have the pipe go in. Oh yeah, no, this is going to be fine. So this is going to come out of here and go forwards into there. It's done the same thing on the other side. We're then going to have to bring this bit upwards, obviously. So that's going to come up there. It's going to go together in the middle. We're going to attach them together using one of these guys. Yes, of course we are. And then we're going to have that go down from there into the other bit. Yeah, there we go. So now we've got some big old pumps pumping some uh, steam out into the actual pistons. So we should go faster, essentially, with that. 
With that being said, though, we now need water to go back quicker as well. So we're going to delete a little bit on the inside of here. Uh, I don't know where, though. Probably like there. One, two, and three. There we go. Get ourselves an actual pump. And we're going to put that in, too. With that being said, I think we're going to put it on both sides. But only one side is going to work. So that's going to go there. We need to delete this and see what this side actually is. So that's out. We need it the other way around. We need it the other way around, please. There we go. Excellent. Uh, and that should work too. So that actually pumps the water straight back to the uh, the front. Yeah, okay. This will work. I think, I think that's fine. Uh, with that being said, we also need an actual uh, outlet for other stuff as well. We need a steam outlet um, to the outside. So we need to figure that out too. But honestly, this is okay. So all of these pumps are actually going to be working all at the same time. They're going to work anyway. So there you go. That's working. Uh, on and off on this one. On and off on that one. They all should work. That's good. Nice. Okay, I'm happy with that. Um, with that being said, we also need to have a release valve somewhere as well. I don't know where that should go, though. All right. Uh, which one's which? Uh, which one is which? So that takes it to the condenser. But if it isn't going to go to the condenser... Uh, or if it doesn't go to the condenser quick enough, uh, we can actually have another valve right inside of here, which lets off steam. And we'll let it off through the roof, if that makes sense. So let's go ahead and get ourselves another pipe uh, that'll bring it this way. Here we go. Pipe. Yes. Okay. We're going to have one of these T pieces. Yeah, that's going to go there like so, which brings it inside. We're then going to have a valve. Uh, on there. Yep. Yeah. This is out. So we're going to have it go upwards and out the roof. Which I think is fine. Yeah, we're going to have another funnel. Or a little bit of a funnel. Right here. That lets out steam. Cool. Alright, so let's go ahead and take it backwards. Take it upwards. And go straight from there. Straight to the sky, please. So let me grab a straight pipe from the outside. Go ahead and grab this. All the way up to the top. There we go. Excellent. Delete this and this. Uh, actually, make it go out the roof. Fluid port, let's do it. And we can attach that directly onto there. And realistically, we could just do this and this and this, I guess. Yeah. I think that's I think that's fine. We can then attach all the corner pieces there and there. And that should be fine. Excellent. With that being said, though, we need another grader then. Um somewhere. <laughs> I don't have enough room for this. Another grader then somewhere. And another normal number somewhere. And this one is 9. We're going to make this one 8. And then we're going to make this one 9. And we're going to attach that onto B. This onto... The pressure? Yeah, the steam boiler pressure. And then this onto here, which will release some steam out of the top. Excellent. Should we see if this works? Let's go ahead and get it moving and see if it works. Actually, first though, let's get a tank thing. Do -do 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 -do. Yeah, tank. Uh, steering small, yes. Delete, probably there. Delete this. Grab a straight block. There. Oh, no, an actual straight block. That'd be good. Pipe, here we go. Straight piece. Whack it in there. It's on both sides. That's good. Tank. Let's get back to this. Tank. Tank. There we go. Good. Medium. Uh, that's too big. Small. There we go. Whack those on there. And now we have some buffers. That will stop us from dying. Excellent. Let's go. Oh, this is sick. I think it looks awesome, actually. I think we've done a pretty good job. That's too flat. I might figure out something with that. But the rest of it actually looks pretty awesome. Yeah. Anyway, let's get inside. Let's go ahead and do this. And this. And hopefully, we'll get it going. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. Look at the temperature of that. It's already 100. Very nice. And now we should be able to go. Yeah. I, I need to paint that block right there. In fact, I'm going to do that before we move. So let's grab this paint. Paint this little block right here. And is there anywhere else that we need that? I don't think so. Maybe on the roof of here we could do like this. That might be pretty good. I'm not sure. Maybe the entire thing. The entire roof. There we go. Wow. What do you guys think of this color? It's weird, isn't it? Anyway, we're going to do this too. And that seems fine. All right, let's go. Let's go, go, go. Turn it on. Let's get going. All right. So in the previous video, I asked you guys what your favorite steam locomotive was. I said mine was the A4 Pacific, uh, the Mallard, of course. Um, in this video, I was going to ask you guys 
What kind of train do you like most in terms of diesels, steam? Do you like tank engines? What do you prefer? Because this is obviously a tank engine. It doesn't have a tender or anything like that. Uh, this can pull cars straight away or push them around, I suppose, uh, without having a tender, which is pretty awesome. So I kind of like these, but um, yeah. Anyway, let's see how this goes. I'm not sure how the uh, pumps and stuff will work. That might be kind of interesting to see, but uh, yeah, we'll go from there, I guess. All right, we're getting to 100 degrees. 100 degrees. Yes, there we go. Uh, we're going to get some build-up of pressure in a second, and that'll be awesome. Uh, and then we should get going straight after that. Another question for you guys, actually. Shall we add another wheel uh, underneath the cab? Another wheel underneath the cab. I think it'll fit. I think we can get it to fit anyway. Uh, I think that would be pretty awesome. Let me know in the comments down below whether you think that should be uh, added or not. But anyway, we should be moving right now and we're not. Oh no, we shouldn't be. There we go. Now we're moving. The boiler pressure isn't going up all that much. Which is kind of interesting. And the boiler temperature is going up quite a bit. Weird. Anyway, we're already going five. Let's go. Oh yeah. Whoa, we're already going really fast. <laughs> What's happened? Our boiler pressure is literally 0.0. Oh, Alright, there we go. It's just hit one. And we're already going 12 meters per second. How strange. Look at it go, though. It's pretty sick. Okay, so it does appear to be slowing down. I'm not entirely sure what our bottleneck is, which is a little bit annoying. Uh, but we want to see whether this boiler pressure will work. So once it gets to max, we'll start seeing steam come out of here. Uh, if that actually does trigger. Hopefully it will. So that it's at 8 as soon as it hits 9. There you go. Steam is being let out. Okay. Yeah, this is working. We're up to 13. Our boiler pressure isn't hitting 10, so it's not blowing up. We're at 14 now. Yeah, it's speeding up. Our boiler temperature is almost at um, 200. Once it hits 200, it's a bad thing. Uh, but our boiler pressure is not going any higher. Our speed is continuously going up. Excellent. I think we've done an alright job here. The only problem with this is we will need to refill our um, our water tank because we will run out of water. But other than that, this is actually pretty good. There we go. We're at 17, guys. We've made it to 17. It is slowing down again. Not entirely sure why. I think there's like occasions where water comes through and then we don't have enough water. Might have to add another tank. Maybe a little one. Oh, 1850. That was the fastest speed we got before. If it gets any faster than that, that is the quickest we'll have been in our steam train. But no, we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Yeah. I love that it's just letting steam out. That's pretty sick. So yeah, we've built something that actually works for once, guys. This is brilliant. I'm so happy with this. Sorry, I thought I'd just give you a bit of a cinematic there. But, like, how cool is that? That is so awesome. This is working double time. It's going so, so fast. That is ridiculous. Look at how quick this thing is moving. But, um, yeah, it is actually working. It's moving down. We don't know how much water we've got. With every one of these that happens, we lose a little bit of water. So, obviously, that might become a big problem uh, in the future. And we will need to refuel, uh, refill our water tanks. However, the thing is, we are not exploding. We're staying at a constant speed of about 1850, and our boiler temperature isn't getting that much higher than this. So I think we've honestly done a really good job. Um, with that being said, how much coal is in here? We have 38 coal remaining. Yeah, we've done a good job, guys. Amazing. Right, let's take this back. We'll add a few more dials. We need to know how much water is inside this thing. We need a way of refueling the water, or refilling the water, uh, and then we'll go from there. So... Uh, we can put it at the front. We don't need to, though. Uh, let's add the dials before we do anything else. So, uh, delete this, this, and this. Let's add dials to each one of these. One, two, and three. So, we're going to have uh, water tank. This isn't going to show us like a precise amount of water we have, because it doesn't quite work that way. But that's going to attach onto there. Okay. We then need some other things as well. So, we've got our speed. We need to know how much coal we've got without having to press page up. Good. So let me go ahead and label that. Coal. Uh, in firebox. There you go. Coal in firebox. And then the last one. I'm not sure what we need there. But there is a dial. So maybe we could attach it to the temperature of the radiator, I guess. Or 
We could put the fluid volume for this. So, fluid volume in uh, boiler. There we go. So, fluid volume in boiler. So, now we've got a bunch of extra dials there. We should be able to see what's going on. That is awesome. Um, yeah, we've done a decent job now. Excellent. With the thing that I said earlier about adding another one of these, I'm not sure I want to. So, we're going to probably leave it as is for right now. Um, and we'll see what happens after that, I guess. But, yeah, we're going to attach this to here. Uh, we're going to leave the back end open. And, honestly, I think that's fine. I think we've done a pretty good job. All right, so the front end doesn't look that good, does it? Uh, there is a pipe going into that, but I don't think that pipe does anything. So let's delete that real quick. Uh, let's delete this, this, and this. This, this, and this. This, this, and this. This, this, and this. There we go. All right, in fact, I'm going to delete that too. So we're going to go ahead and put this on the side like so. We're also going to put it on the bottom like so as well. I need to be doing this on both sides, please. So that's going to go there. It's also going to go there. We're going to attach this piece at the top like so. And at the bottom, this is just going to attach together like this. I think that's fine. So I think that's a much nicer shape than we had previously. Uh, I kind of like it. I kind of like it. We're then going to delete this. And we're going to have a, uh, a block. But we're going to have a pipe go like that into said block. Because I think that'll look nicer as well. Honestly, I think the front of this looks pretty good. Um, and also, we're going to delete this right here. We're going to put in this guy just to there. We're going to do it around the top, and there we go. We've got a little bit of extra detail in our build. Excellente. That's very nice. That's very nice indeedy. So we're going to do that to there real quick, then delete this. Actually, no. We can just put this in here, like that, then this, and there we go. So we can still fit in there. That's fine. Yeah. All right, good. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and get it moving again just for the last time, and we'll go from there. Actually, sorry. One more thing that I want to do, delete this, put that in there, a little bit of extra detail, off we go. Yeah, oh this looks sick, it looks so good, I'm so happy with it. Alright, so now we've got a bunch of dials, we have a speed dial, we have a water tank dial, so we've got 177 in there, we've also got 174 inside the boiler, uh, we have some coal in the firebox, wait, that is not... Eh? <laughs> I think I've got the temperature of the firebox there by accident. Okay, that's fine. We'll change that one. That's okay. Uh, boiler temperature. That's okay. We should start moving in a second. It takes a little while to do this now. Uh, and I think it's a bottleneck between the pumps. I think because this pump on the side is only a small one, and the pump on the inside is obviously two big ones, I don't think this pump on the side is going to be good enough. I think that's our bottleneck. So we need to come up with an idea of fixing that. Uh, and then we should have a really, really good train. Uh, but yeah, there we go. I think we've built something that's pretty sick in such a short, short, short span of time, to be honest. It hasn't taken us long to build this. So I'm happy with that. But anyway, we're moving out. Uh, water in the tank is actually way more than before. Water in the boiler is less. Okay, so maybe we need to pump it in quicker. And then we'll get more boiler pressure. But I guess we don't need that. But anyway... Uh, it seems to work. Let's go ahead and see if our steam valve works still. Because we're not losing all of it to the steam valve. Because some of it is getting pushed through the condenser. Um, I think that's pretty good. We might need to like pump it through the condenser though. So I think that would be a better idea. Maybe. We'll probably do a pump. Also the water tank is actually full. Crazy. But there you go. So it's working. Our speed actually does slow down. But then it starts speeding up as soon as this uh, starts happening. And that's pretty good. I'm really happy with it. Nice. So yeah, as soon as I need to, we can actually just unload coal from here, whack it into there, or whack it into there. It doesn't really matter. And we can just keep loading coal in. Inside of here, we've actually got 75. That's shared between them, so it's all like, it's all 75. Uh, and I think that's, that's pretty good. I might box that off at the back as well. I'm not sure. Because I don't like these boxes on the side. I think they look quite ugly. But the rest of it, I think, looks okay. So, we'll probably leave most of that the way that it is. That looks pretty ugly too, but kind of want to keep it. I think it works. So, there you go. Anyway, we're good. We're at a speed of 16. We're going to continue to go upwards. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, cool. Well, anyway, for right now, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to see more of this, let me know in the comments down below. But I think what I'll do, now that I've got this somewhat sorted, uh, I might start building some bigger ones. We'll see. I also need to get back to the uh, aircraft carrier 
Um, uh, p -p 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 thing, thing, uh, aircraft carrier. What am I trying to say? I was gonna say program, but it's not program. We need to progress with it anyway. But yeah, for now, thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.